Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the split screen effect in Femora 11. So you know that this feature is available from Femora 9 until Femora 11. And I think it's very interesting. Uh, with this feature, you can create a side-by-side -side split screen video or uh, multiple video on the same screen. It is very easy because uh, we have 30 different split screen templates in Filmora and we can just put the split screen template on the timeline and then drag and drop the, uh, the media into the template and control the animation and stuff like that. And with Filmora 11, we can also add animation keyframe to our split screen and also cut the media before importing it to the template and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you everything about split screen effect in Filmora 11. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so this is the start page of Filmora 11 and being mentioned that if you are using Filmora 9 or Filmora 10, you can upgrade to this latest version by reinstall the software. So it is very easy. I will put the link in the description for you. And if you want to purchase a license to get rid of the watermark on your video output, you can use my 20% discount coupon code, which is in the description also. Okay, so the first thing, I want to create a new project. Uh, so I'm going to uh, click here, a new project. And now uh, we have a folder here, split screen folder. And actually, we have 30 different uh, free templates right here, and you can download more with the Filmstock subscription. By the way, for me, I think 30 is enough for me. Okay, so you can just select the basic one, and if you'd like to use any of this template, you need to download it. And when you download it, it will be in this folder. This download the folder. And if you like some templates and you want to use it for this project and other project also, you can click here at this hot icon. Okay, so yeah, let's go to the basic one. So I'm going to use this one, the split screen, uh, side by side split screen uh, as an example. Okay, so we can just drag and drop it onto the timeline. All right, and now we have a template on the timeline. And the first thing, you want to adjust the duration of the split screen, right? You have two ways to do that. The first way, just click the edge of the split screen box here on the timeline and then drag it to the right to extend the duration. But if you want to change the duration, maybe to 10 seconds or 13 seconds, you can just select the split screen here and you have an option here, duration. So you can click here. For example, I want to make a 10 second split screen. So I can type here 10. For the frame, I'm going to put it 0, 0. Okay, so now we have a 10 second split screen. Let's click OK. Very nice, right? And as you can see on the uh, the template here uh, has some animation that is the split screen animation and you can easily disable it to disable or enable the animation of the split screen all you need to do is to double click at the template on the timeline and you have a button here check this box to disable uh, I'm sorry check this box to enable it or you can uncheck this one to disable the split screen animation it will look like this very nice, right? And no animation, nothing flying on the screen. That is the first thing. And here at the center of the split screen, uh, we have a border. Uh, we have a white border. And we can change the color and increase the size, size of this border also. Just double click at the split screen on the timeline and find the video tab. Okay, so we have a video tab here. And then we can uh, click this button to find the, the border effect. And now we have this one, the color picker. We can uh, select any any color on our screen. You can select this one and then maybe I want to use this one, a blue line. So I can just select it. And now you see that the border has become blue. Okay. And add it to that, you can also select different color here. Just click more and you have multiple color here. For example, I can change the border to red and then I can click OK. And added to that, you can also increase or reduce the size of the border also. Okay, uh, let's click OK. And the next thing, you want to put your media, like video or image, into the template. So you can do the same. Just double click on the split screen template at the timeline. Okay, just double click. And now, go back to the media folder. And here, you can import your old footage or you can use the stock footage. If you want to use a stock footage, you can just click OK and go to the stock media here. 
So for example, I have some downloaded uh, video. Yeah, let's say this one. I want to use this green screen video uh, on the second on the second video on the right side. So all I need to do is to drag and drop it right here. Okay, and now I have one video here and we need to import now one more video right here. So I'm going to use this one, just drag and drop it to the split screen. Okay, okay, and let's preview it. Very nice, right? And the next thing you want to do is to adjust the split screen or you can just adjust the media inside. So technically with this split screen effect, we have two things. The first one is the basic control of the split screen. With the basic control, you just need to double click at the split screen here on the timeline. And then you have some tab here, media. We have to import the media and replace this one. And second one, the video, uh, we have some effect inside and transform stuff like that for example if i want to scale the split screen down or stuff like that i can just click here the transform tab and then i can just scale it down like this okay and i can even adjust the position of the split screen also but let's uh, re reset it to normal and here at the color tab you can do the color grading for your split screen so all the video inside the split screen for example i can adjust the white balance uh, increase the temperature or stuff like that so it will increase the temperature of the whole split screen okay and reduce the tint very nice right so this is the color correction tab added to that you have another tab here it is the animation uh, we will give you the option to add animation effect to your split screen for example I can just select the animation and now I have some preset animation and some preset motion here also for example, I can just uh, click here, pause, and now we have an animation keyframe here on our split screen on the timeline. Okay, so let's play it. It will look like this. And you can also adjust the keyframe here. And being mentioned that this customization is for your split screen, so for the whole video, including two video inside the template. So if you want to control the video inside the split screen, you need to go to the advanced editor. Okay, for example, let's click OK. And now you have the split screen on the timeline. And you want to control this video and this video, you can select it on the preview window and now you have some option for example you can just scale it scale it up and scale it down right here and you can also delete it uh, with this button and you can mute the audio here and you can go to the advanced editor here with this button okay you can click here to open the advanced editor of the split screen effect uh, by the way I'm just uh, close it first uh, and there's another, another option to go to the advanced editor is to double click at the split screen and now you have this button advanced to go to the advanced editor okay so just click here okay so you did is your new split screen editor so actually it looked the same it looked the same with the main timeline and we still have a timeline here with some video track it is the first one and it is the second one and we also have a preview window right here uh, where we, we can review the video and also move us one frame forward and one frame backward and being mentioned that in this split screen editor you can adjust your video separately not the whole split screen uh, for example here if i want to get rid of the uh, the green screen right here i can select the video track here and then go to my video tab right here and then enable this chroma key and now i can select the color picker to remove the green it is easy, right? So it is only applicable for this video, not the whole split screen. And you also have the color option and animation option. You can select uh, an animation preset for your video right here also. For example, I can just select this one to add some keyframe to my video. Okay, and then we can preview this one, for example. Okay, very nice, right? Uh, and here you can also replace the media inside also if you go back to your media folder and then you can just import some footage and this video and image and this one and then open and now I can replace this one just by drag and drop this one 
and added to that if the duration of the video or the image is shorter than the duration of the split screen you can enable or disable this option uh, to keep it on the on the um, on the screen uh, like a free frame uh, for example if i uncheck this one uh, i will have a black black spot uh, right here when i finish the when i play the split screen okay so let's play it okay so this is the image and and finally here in the advanced split screen editor you can also trim the clip or the image also all you need to do is to select the clip here and then you can move your mouse here to trim it it is very nice and then move it right here if you want to extend the duration of the image here you can do like this also all right so that is technically how to use the split screen effect in Filmora 11. i hope this tutorial is helpful for you and if you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.